Free NFL picks. This is action here for Sunday, December 31st. Tony T, our NFL pick show here for Sunday action. Uh, features all 14 games. We're going to see just a couple things. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have free NFL picks updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports. Making it a great time to subscribe. And also, if you would support our channel, with that like, that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit TonySpicks.com. We're a multi-capper site showcasing our top performance. Performers in the industry, click the links to the hot cappers, get signed up to our long-term passes. Hot cappers like Joseph Schultz for the year, Jerry Lewis, Marlon Pettis. Mindy Han has been on top of leaderboards the last three days. So is Tiffany. They've been on fire. Latifa doing some great work up there. Uh, click the links, get signed up. You'll find our latest print picks here. Send the page with more tabs for our best bets and more. Go ahead and get signed up. We have a pick ticker here. We may purchase the place a la carte. There you'll find team versus team information. And you can save 20% off all premium pick packages when you use that promo code TONYT at checkout. Access our page by clicking the link in the description. Click the all capper tab, get signed up. Always love to hear from you guys. You can post your picks in the comments. And we offer executive service for big bankroll players. If you bet between $500,000 a game or more, uh, this would be for you. Uh, we, give you uh, we give you picks throughout the betting uh, cycle when the lines open all the way up until game time. We, look, we move on information. We move on soft numbers, team information injuries, player information, and more, call right now or text 323-607-0203. Our man, Uncle Charlie, will facilitate the call, answer all your questions, and see if it's right for you. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this one started. Rams and Giants NFL pick. This one here is on... Sunday, Los Angeles receiver Nakua and their left tackle are questionable on defense. A linebacker is questionable. New York receiver Wandale Robinson questionable. Corner is questionable on defense. Los Angeles improved to 8-7, and seven, a 30-22 home victory to New Orleans. Rams rushed for 133 yards on 32 carries. They limited the Saints to 2.1 yards per carry with 304 yards passing on 40 attempts. Matthew Stafford connected on 24 of 34 passes for 328 yards with two touchdowns. He averaged 9.6 yards per pass attempt. New York drops to 5 and 10, a 33 to 25 road defeat to Philadelphia. Giants rushed for 106 yards on 26 carries. They allowed 170 yards rushing to the Eagles with 295 yards passing on 38 attempts. Tommy DeVito, 9 of 16 passes for 55 yards with 3.4 yards per pass attempt. DeVito was benched for Tyrod Taylor, who was more effective. Taylor will get the start. And Los Angeles offense in great form as in their past three games, averaging nearly 30 points and 438 yards a game. They found their run game which opened up plays downfield in the passing game. Giants quarterback Taylor is contributing only 6.8 yards per pass attempt. At home, the Giants average just 10 points and 259 yards a game. They sit with the 32nd and last ranked offense in the NFL. On defense, they're giving up 4.7 yards per rush play here in Los Angeles, minus 6. Forty ers and Commanders, NFL pick this one here on Sunday. San Francisco receiver Jawan Jennings is out with the left uh, with the left guard questionable on defense. A tackle and safety are out. Washington quarterback Jacoby Brissett and a right tackle are questionable. Their left tackle and center are out on defense. Out are three starters in the secondary. San Francisco fell to one to eleven and four with their 33-19 home defeat to Baltimore. 49ers rushed for 121 yards on 18 carries. They allowed nearly four yards per rush to the Ravens with 241 yards passing on 35 attempts. San Francisco had a minus five turnover margin. Brock Purdy, 18 of 32 passing for 255 yards with four interceptions. Washington drops to 4 and 11 with a 45 29 road defeat to New York Jets. Commanders rushed for 102 yards on 22 carries. They surrendered 164 yards rushing to New York with 217 passing yards on 49 attempts. Washington had three turnovers and took two from the Jets. Sam Hell hit six of 22 passes for 56 yards and two interceptions. He averaged 2.5 yards per pass attempt. How was replaced by Jacoby Brissett, who was more effective? Brissett is dealing with a hamstring issue and a game time decision. How has been ineffective? San Francisco on the road is averaging 31 points and 371 yards a game. Past three games, 49ers defense allowing 368 yards and 26 points a game. Commanders' injuries in the secondary should create a monster offensive performance by these 49ers, but their defense has been leaking of late, so. Really can't lay this big number here uh, with them in this spot. Commanders defense past three games giving up 411 yards a game and 34 points. The offense in this period is putting up 21 points, though. Player will be San Francisco and Washington over 49 and a half.
Raiders and Colts NFL pick. This one here is on <clears throat> Sunday in Las Vegas. Running back uh, Josh Jacobs is doubtful. Their tight end Michael Mayer is out. Left guard and right tackle are questionable. Raiders defensive starters are healthy. Indianapolis receiver Michael Pittman is questionable, as is a right tackle. Uh, defensive corner is questionable. Las Vegas improved to 7-8 with their 20-14 row win at Kansas City. Raiders rushed for 157 yards on 29 carries. <clears throat> they limited the Chiefs to 3.5 yards per rush with 223 yards passing on 45 attempts. Kansas City had a minus 2 turnover margin. Aiden O'Connell completed 9-21 of 21 passes for 62 yards. He averaged 3 yards per pass attempt. Indianapolis drops at 8-7 with a 29-10 row defeat to Atlanta. Colts rushed for 92 yards on 25 carries. They allowed 177 yards rushing to the Falcons with 229 yards passing on 33 attempts. Gardner Minshew, 20-37 passes for 201 yards. With an interception, he averaged 5.4 yards per pass attempt and rushed for 31 yards. On the road, the Raiders are averaging just 237 yards a game. Quarterback Aiden O'Connell on the road, just 59% completion rate, 5.7 yards per pass attempt. Has two touchdowns and five picks on the road. Indianapolis offense at home putting up 27 points and 376 yards a game. Minshew at home averaging 7.6 yards per pass attempt. Las Vegas just running for 3.7 yards a carry. And Jacoby's injury concerning back-to-back road games as well for the Raiders. Play here in Indianapolis, minus four. Dolphins and Ravens NFL pick. This one here on Sunday. My receiver Waddle is out with right guard doubtful. Running back Mostert, center and right tackle are questionable. On defense, three in the secondary are questionable. Baltimore receiver Flowers and their right guard are questionable. On defense, a corner and safety are questionable. I mean, improved 11-4 after their 22-20 home victory to Dallas. Dolphins rushed for 91 yards on 26 carries. They held the Cowboys to 3.9 yards per rush with... 242 yards passing on 32 attempts. Do it. Tag Lavola, 24 of 37 passing for 293 yards with a touchdown. He averaged 7.9 yards per pass attempt. Baltimore is 12 and 3 with their 33 to 19 row win at San Francisco. Ravens rushed for 102 yards on 26 carries. They held the 49ers to 121 yards rushing with 308 yards passing on 46 attempts. Baltimore had a plus four turnover margin by picking off five passes. Lamar Jackson, 23 of 35 passing for 222 yards. And two touchdowns, he averaged 7.2 yards per pass attempt and rushed for 45 yards. The injuries to Miami offensive line and lead running back, the massive concern here. Also facing the Ravens defense that leads the league in sacks with 3.6 per game. Baltimore holding teams at 305 yards a game at home. Past five games, Miami defense holding teams at 16 points and 282 yards a game. Player Miami and Baltimore under 46 and a half. Patriots and the Bills, NFL pick. This one here is on. Uh, this one here is on Sunday. All right, here we go with this one here. Uh, we've got the uh, New England receiver Smith Schuster out with tight end Hunter questionable on defense, a linebacker, and all four secondary starters are questionable. Buffalo starters are healthy on offense and defense. Now, uh, Patriots rush. Patriots improved here 4 and 11 with their 26 to 23 row win at that was at the Denver Broncos. So that was a, a nice little win there here for the uh, <laughs> for the New England Patriots getting that victory there in that spot. Now they omitted the Broncos to 83 yards rushing with 193 yards passing on 37 attempts. Uh, they did rush for 193 yards on 37 attempts. It was Billy Zappi 25 or 33 for 256 yards, two touchdowns. He averaged 7.8 yards per pass attempt. Buffalo sits at 9-6 and six after a 24-22 road win at Los Angeles Chargers. The Bills rushed for 105 yards on 30 carries. They held the Chargers at 98 yards rushing with 175 yards passing on 33 attempts. Buffalo had a minus 3 turnover margin. Josh Allen, 15-21 passing for 237 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged 11.3 yards per pass attempt. He had two rushing touchdowns. Bailey Zappi is averaging only 6.3 yards per pass attempt. The secondary for the Patriots, the concern here. Bills healthy and at home where they've won six of seven. At home, the Bills average 30 points a game. They're giving up just 14 and allowing 271 yards a game. Back-to-back -back road games here for New England. The player will be on Buffalo. Buffalo minus 14.
Falcons and Bears NFL pick. This one here on Sunday. Atlanta fullback is out with their right tackle questionable. Their defensive starters are healthy. Chicago receiver Mooney is out with tight end Komet and a center questionable. Their defensive starters healthy. Atlanta improved to 7-8 and eight with their 29-10 home victory to Indianapolis. Falcons rushed for 177 yards on 30 carries. They held the Colts to 3.7 yards per rush with 170 yards passing on 37 attempts. Taylor Heineke 23 of 33 passing for 229 yards with a touchdown. He averaged 6.9 yards per pass attempt. Chicago 6-9, a 27-16 home victory to Arizona. Bears rushed for 250 yards on 39 carries. They allowed 93 yards rushing to the Cardinals with 213 passing yards on 38 attempts. Justin Fields 15 of 27 passing for 170 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged 6.3 yards per pass attempt, plus rush for 97 yards and a touchdown. Falcons defense in great form. Over their past three games, allowing 16 points and 278 yards a game. In this period, the Bears are averaging only 330 yards a game. The Falcons defend the run well, but holding opponents at 3.9 yards a carry. <clears throat> Chicago has been an inefficient passing team with poor quarterback accuracy. Play here at Atlanta, plus two and a half. Titans and Texans NFL pick. This one here on Sunday. Tennessee starters on offense and defense are healthy. Houston fullback questionable on defense and end is out with the other three linemen questionable. Corner is questionable as well. Tennessee fell to 5-10 with their 20-17 home defeat to Seattle. Titans rushed for 162 yards on 31 carries. They held the Seahawks to 2.9 yards per rush with 215 yards passing on 36 attempts. Will Levis was questionable early in the week after missing last week's game with an ankle. Injury, he will play in this game. Levis, 59% completion rate, 7.2 yards from pass attempt. He has passed for eight touchdowns and four interceptions in his eight games. Houston drops to 8-7, 8 8-36-22 home defeat to Cleveland. Texans rush for 72 yards on 16 carries. They held the Browns at 2.8 yards per rush with 364 yards passing on 44 attempts. Each team committed two turnovers. C.J. Stroud missed the game due to a concussion. He was questionable early in the week. Stroud is completing 62% of his passes with 8.2 yards per pass attempt. The rookie is thrown for 20 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. Stroud and Levis will play at quarterback. Texans' defensive injuries are concerned. Past week games are allowing 27 points a game. Houston allows 68% completion rate, and they're giving up big plays in the passing game. Past three games, Titans defense holding teams to 326 yards a game. The Texans... Have a losing cover record at home and have failed to cover three of four as a home favorite. Play here, Tennessee, plus four. <clears throat> Panthers and the Jaguars. NFL pick this one here on Sunday. All right, Carolina left tackle is questionable on defense. The linebacker and corner are questionable. Jacksonville quarterback Trevor Lawrence is out. And receiver Zay Jones questionable. Their defensive starters healthy. Carolina fell to 2-13 with their 33-30 home defeat to Green Bay. Panthers rushed for 96 yards on 25 carries. They allowed 162 yards rushing to the Packers with 207 yards passing on 28 attempts. Bryce Young, 23-36 passing for 312 yards and two touchdowns. He averaged a career high. 8.7 yards per pass attempt. Jacksonville drops to 8-7 with a 30-12 road defeat to Tampa Bay. Jaguars rush for 37 yards on 13 carries. They held the Bucks to 1.9 yards per, pass, per rush with 265 yards passing on 35 attempts. Jacksonville had a minus 4 turnover margin. Trevor Lawrence, 17-29 passes for 211 yards with a touchdown and, inter and two interceptions. He averaged 7.3 yards per pass attempt and, with, uh, and rushed for 29 yards. But Lawrence was questionable early in the week with a shoulder injury and is out of this game. So C.J. Beathard is the backup. We'll get the start in limited work this season. 79% completion rate, 5.9 yards per pass attempt and a touchdown. It should be easier for Beathard here at home. Bryce Young on the road is completing just 53% of his passes. 5.2 yards per pass attempt. They are 0-8 straight up on the road and failed to cover 6 of 7 over there on the road. Carolina getting outscored by 12 points away from home. Panthers rush for only 3.9 yards. A carry play here, Jacksonville minus 4.
Cardinals and Eagles, NFL pick. This one here on Sunday. Arizona quarterback Kyler Murray is questionable with an illness. On defense, a linebacker and corner are questionable. Philadelphia starters on offense are healthy. On defense, a linebacker is doubtful with corner out. Arizona fell to 3-12, a 27-16 road defeat to Chicago. Cardinals rushed for 93 yards on 20 carries. They surrendered 250 yards rushing to the Bears with 170 passing yards on 27 attempts. Kyler Murray, 24-38 passing for 230 yards with two touchdowns. He averaged 6.1 yards per pass attempt and rushed for, 30, rushed for 32 yards. Philadelphia improved 11-4, a 33-25 home victory to New York. Eagles rushed for 170 yards on 35 carries. They allowed 160 yards rushing to the Giants with 160 yards passing on 32 attempts. It was Jalen Hurts, 24 of 38 passing for 301 yards with a touchdown and interceptions. He averaged 7.9 yards per pass attempt and rushed for 34 yards, and he did get a touchdown there. Arizona head coach Gannon commented on Friday he expects Murray to play. The Cardinals offense has struggled on the road by averaging 13 points and 266 yards a game. Arizona has gone under in 6 of 8 on the road. Eagles offense has seen a drop in production as in their past three games averaging just 21 points a game. Cardinals passing offense inefficient. Play here Arizona and Philadelphia under 48. Saints and the Buccaneers NFL pick this one here on Sunday. New Orleans running back Alvin Kamara is questionable. Their starters on offense, I'm sorry, their starters on defense are healthy. Tampa Bay starters on offense are healthy. On defense, a linebacker and corner are out. New Orleans fell to 7-8 with their 30-22 road defeat to Los Angeles Rams. Saints rushed for 35 yards on 16 carries. They allowed 133 yards rushing to Los Angeles with 325 yards passing on 34 attempts. Derek Carr, 27-40 of 40 for 319 yards with three touchdowns and an interception. He averaged eight yards per pass attempt. Tampa Bay improved to 8-7 with a 30-12 home win to Jacksonville. Bucks rushed for 70 yards on 36 carries. They helped the Jaguars to 37 rushing yards with 268 yards passing on 44 attempts. Tampa Bay had a plus-four turnover margin. Baker Mayfield, 26-35 of 35 passing for 283 yards with two touchdowns. He averaged 8.1 yards per pass attempt. New Orleans in the division, averaging only 18 points per game, going under in all four games. Their defense is holding a divisional foes to 292 yards a game. The Bucs defend well at home by holding opponents to 16 points a game. New Orleans rushes for only 3.6 yards a carry. They're inefficient in the passing game. Buccaneers rush for 3.4 yards a carry, which is last in the NFL. Saints defend the pass well. Player New Orleans and Tampa Bay under 42. Steelers and Seahawks, NFL pick this one here on Sunday. All right, Pittsburgh starters on offense are healthy. On defense, a linebacker and safety are out. Seattle running back Walker and receiver Metcalf are questionable. The fullback is questionable as well. <clears throat> on defense, a linebacker is out with corner questionable. Pittsburgh had improved to 8-7, a 34-11 home victory to Cincinnati. Steelers rushed for 113 yards on 30 carries. They limit the Bengals to 59 yards rushing with 309 yards passing on 42 attempts. Pittsburgh had a plus three turnover margin with three picks. Kenny Pickett has been limited in practice early in the week and missed the past three games. Mason Rudolph completed 17 of 27 passes for 290 yards with two touchdowns. He averaged 10.7 yards per pass attempt. Rudolph gets a start. Seattle is 8 7 after their 20 17 row win at Tennessee. Seahawks rushed for 58 yards on 20 carries. They submitted 162 yards rushing <clears throat> to the Titans with 125 yards passing. On 27 attempts, Geno Smith, 25 of 36 passing for 227 yards and two touchdowns. He averaged 6.3 yards per pass attempt. Pittsburgh on the road is averaging 15 points and 290 yards a game. There is film on now on Rudolph. He has a career 61% completion rate, just 6.4 yards per pass attempt. The Seahawks have won 5 of 7 at home. There are issues with the Steelers' pass even, so they're giving up big plays. Player Seattle, minus 4.5. Chargers and Broncos NFL pick. This one here is on. Whoop. This one here is on Sunday. Los Angeles receivers Allen and Palmer are out. Their left guard is questionable on defense and end and linebacker Rodolfo with a corner questionable. Denver receiver Sutton is out with receivers Judy and Mims Jr. questionable. 
Uh, defensive linebacker is out. Los Angeles drops a 5-10. and 10. A 24-22 home defeat to Buffalo. Chargers rushed for 98 yards on 27 carries. They held the Bills to 3.5 yards per rush with 230 yards passing on 21 attempts. Los Angeles had a plus 3 turnover margin. Easton Stick, 23-33 passing for 215 yards with 6.5 yards per pass attempt. He rushed for 25 yards and a touchdown. Denver fell to 7-8, a 26-23 home defeat to New, York, New England. Broncos rushed for 83 yards on 23 carries. They held the Patriots to 2.9 yards per rush with 230 yards passing on 33 attempts. Russell Wilson benched for, for the remainder of the season. Jared Stidham to start. He sees his first action of the season. Stidham a career 59% completion rate, 7.1 yards per pass attempt. He has thrown for six touchdowns and seven picks. Denver weapons are banged up in the, in the receiver position. It'll make it difficult for Stidham here. Past five games, Broncos allowing 25 points a game. Stick in his three starts for the Chargers, is completing over 66% of his passes with 7.3 yards per pass attempt. He has been a, with the Chargers as a backup for several seasons now. They were, you know, they were competitive in that close home loss to the Bills. Play here at Los Angeles plus three and a half. Bengals and the Chiefs, NFL pick this one here on Sunday. Cincinnati receiver Chase is questionable. Their starters on defense, healthy. Kansas City running back Pacheco, questionable. Receiver Tony is out, as is their left tackle on defense. The corner is questionable. Cincinnati fell to 8-7, a 34-11 road defeat to Pittsburgh. Bengals rushed for 59 yards on 16 carries. They allowed 113 yards rushing to the Steelers with 284 yards passing on 27 attempts. Cincinnati had... A minus three turnover margin. Jake Browning, 28 of 42 passes for 335 yards with a touchdown and three interceptions. He averaged eight yards per pass attempt. Kansas City dropped to nine and six. A 20 to 14 home defeat to Las Vegas. Chiefs rushed for 85 yards on 25 carries. They allowed 157 yards rushing to the Raiders with 48 yards passing on 21 attempts. Casey had a minus two turnover margin. Patrick Mahomes, 27 of 44 passes for 235 yards with a touchdown and interception. He averaged 5.3 yards per pass attempt and rushed for 53 yards. Chase will be a game-time decision with his shoulder injury. On the road, the Bengals' defense is giving up 27 points and 383 yards a game. Browning in his road loss at Pittsburgh through three picks. That is an issue here if Chase can't play. It's going to be tougher on Browning when he doesn't have all his weapons. It's also a back-to-back -back road game for Cincinnati. Past three games, the KC defense only just 246 yards a game. Play here Kansas City, minus 6.5. Packers and the Vikings, NFL pick this one here Sunday. Green Bay running back Watson doubtful on defense. The linebacker is out. Corner is suspended. Most tackle and safety are questionable. Minnesota receiver Addison questionable on defense and end and cornerback are out. Green Bay sits at 7-8 after their 33-30 road win at Carolina. Packers rush for 162 yards on 34 carries. They allowed 3.9 yards per rush to the Panthers with 298 yards passing on 36 attempts. Jordan Love, uh, he goes in this game. 17 of 28 for 219 yards, two touchdowns. He averaged 7.8 yards per pass attempt and had a rushing touchdown. Minnesota falls to 7-8, a 30-24 home defeat to Detroit. Vikings rush for 17 yards on 11 carries. They allowed 143 yards rushing to the Lions with 246 yards passing on 40 attempts. Minnesota had a minus three turnover margin with four Nick Mullins interceptions. Jaron Hall will start for Minnesota. Hall is a rookie fifth-round pick out of BYU. In limited action in two games, he has completed 8 of 10 passes for 101 yards, averaging 10 yards per pass attempt. Minnesota is running for only 3.9 yards a carry, so this makes it tough on this rookie quarterback, Jaron Hall. Love on the road, completing just under 60% of his passes. Seven of his 11 interceptions are on the road. The Vikings have gone under in three of four divisional games as their defense held opponents at 16 points a game. <clears throat> Past three games, Vikings offense averaging 17 points a game. Play here, Green Bay and Minnesota under 43 and a half. All right, that was our NFL pick show here for action on Sunday. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have free NFL picks updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports, making it a great time to subscribe. And also, if you would support the channel, 
Hit us with that like, that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit our site, TonySpeaks.com, for our best plays. Our premium picks are there. Use that promo code TonyT at checkout. You'll save that 20% off. And, of course, our executive service. For those of you big bankroll players, bet about 500 to 1,000 a game. We give you picks throughout the betting cycle when lines open all the way up until game time. Uh, we also move on information, soft numbers, player, team information, weather, and more. Call or text 323-607-0203. Our man, Uncle Charlie, will facilitate the call and get you started. Our live show is the is the morning stream at 9 a.m. Eastern time with Ramon, so make sure you check it out on Sunday, as well as all of our videos on our channel. I'm Tony T. We'll be back later with more free picks.